Mr. Shivadat, hearty congratulations on securing Alinea rank 4 in the GATE 2023 examination in Civil Engineering branch. It is a very proud moment for all of us. You, uh, what was your reaction when you came to know about this result? I was just very happy, sir, that uh, I got that good rank. Right, good. So, what was the reaction from your parents' side? They were more than happy. More than happy. Good. Uh, Mr. Shodat, you please tell us something briefly about your, uh, what you call, uh, background, educational background and all. Uh, I was 2017 graduate from Sastra University, Tanjavur. Uh, after that, uh, I have taken coaching from uh, ACE Institute in 2018. Uh, at that time itself, I got into uh, PSUs, one of the PSU, and then uh, after that, I, I was working there for two years. Then recently, I uh, quit my job and again started preparing. This time, I got uh, All India 4th ranks. Okay, very good to show that. It said that uh, you took earlier from AS Academy this uh, classroom coaching, right? Yes, sir. So, and you then from that uh, gate uh, rank, you joined uh, PSU. PSU, yes, sir. Uh, if you don't mind, what was your rank in the previous attempt? 312, sir. 312, yes, 312 sir. rank. It's a okay. good rank, right? Yes, sir. That rank fetched you in the PSU. PSU, a good job there. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. And you worked there for two years. Yes, sir. Right? So, one interesting point the many students want to know from us is, having worked in such a good PSU for two years, what prompted you to leave the job again, come for preparation of the gate, again securing that rank? Any reason for that in your case? Uh, job was good, sir. My profile was also very good. Uh, but I just wanted more, sir. I, I thought that I can do better in my career and in my life. Mm. So that's why I wanted to give an another attempt so, so that I can go into ESCs. Engineering services. Okay. So, you mean to say that you already worked on the PSU and you want to explore something more opportunities? Yes. And that's why you wanted to make one more journey for the engineering services. In yes. the process, you took this gate examination. Yes. Sir. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. So, this time for this gate 2023 examination, what coaching program you have taken from our ACE Academy? Sir, I have joined in uh, Abit's uh, I8 batch, sir. I think it started around May. Okay. So, so, from May onwards, I, I was in classroom coaching. Achha, you are the classroom coaching student of ES Academy in Hyderabad Center, Abits branch. Yes. Okay. That's good. So, how many months the program went through? It went through around uh, December uh, right. and third week, sir. Right. Okay, Ms. that uh, you please tell us how this ES Academy classroom coaching helped you in securing such a good rank of alinear rank of 4 in the gate examination? Uh, firstly, the content that, that was given to us through class notes and through PPTs, that was very good, sir. So, okay. uh, all my concepts were clear through those uh, class notes and everything. So, and uh, teachers were very helpful. Uh, whenever I got stuck with anything, with uh, any problems or uh, any concept, they used to teach me, I mean, they used to clarify the doubts at the, at, in the class itself. So, so uh, and I have took online series as also, online. Uh, so, you mean to say series, that uh, you used to have a good interaction with the faculty yes, because you happen to be here, the classroom coaching student, uh, yes, and sir. the faculty were easy, approachable for you, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you might have prepared the running notes in the class itself, isn't yes, it? Yes. Apart from this running class notes, did you prepare anything additionally, any short notes as such? Yes, sir, definitely. Uh, when the class notes was going on, I mean, when the classroom coaching was going on, that subject I prepared parallelly the short notes, sir. Means while I was studying that subject, mm. while they were teaching that subject, mm. I started preparing my short notes at that time itself. So, what happened was, when I got one month, that January, Time. Now, one thing I should just make a clarification here. When the lecture is going on, yes, you can prepare what you call that uh, running notes. Running notes, that's what I mean. Okay, that's yes. running notes. That is a classroom running notes. And apart from that, uh, did you prepare anything extra in the form of what you call the short notes? 
yes sir that i prepared when did you prepare the short notes oh, no that was uh, after uh, ah that's what i am asking after whole subject i was thinking telling about running notes running notes so once subject was completed again then we will start writing that short notes short notes okay in the short notes what points you used to keep there sir primarily uh, what and all the teacher said that this was important as given as note points in the classrooms that that will be there in my short notes so apart from that uh, if i find any new concept in our uh, ace book booklets mm. uh, those points also i will write and uh, excessively if i found any problem that is difficult that is conceptual mm. uh, that i will uh, write in the short notes just to go through once okay so in the revision work yes so how you used to use these two notes yes classroom notes was there yes, right sir. and the booklets given to you by the ace academy were yes, there yes sir and the short notes also were there yes. so you might have made some number of revisions there in the revisions how could you use all this material effectively uh, what was your approach in this examination preparation so firstly i would read my short notes sir uh, what would happen was i can complete a subject very fastly because the papers were very less number of papers to revise were very less apart from that if i have any doubt any uh, if i got stuck again through the short notes Uh, i would go through our classroom notes and our test books so my preparation was to complete the subject at the same time to be very good in our concepts that was covered okay honest is speaking up to the gate examination uh, how many times you might have revised the syllabus uh, i lost that vary it. from person to person the number of revisions in your case in your case how many times you might have revised this one i think i lost count sir <laughs> okay certainly more than 4 5 uh, definitely sir okay right. you know unless you have a good number of revisions yes, sir. one cannot remember this uh, content what you read uh, for the particular examination so this revision plays a very important role in the success of the student definitely so that's why we advise all the students who are watching this video that you please prepare a short notes according to your requirement please understand the short notes is a student specific you can't follow the student cannot follow what you call short notes of some other student it has to be prepared by the student itself is it not yes sir yes sir so that is very useful in the revision process right yes. and one more thing in this gate examination uh, you require more what you call problem solving skills numerical problem skill that too on the what you call virtual calculator yes so to develop this particular skill what was your approach did you practice the pvqs of the gate examination otherwise the mock test series right what was the combination that you used for this uh, strategy uh, sir uh, when i came to ace they said that you better install gate calculator and use it through via phone so that helped a lot because i was actually using that gate virtual calculator through my phone so i didn't fumble in my exam so how to use it because uh, we have to be sure how the board mass rule works there uh, in the gate calculator so that was very helpful and when uh, i wrote uh, most of the mock tests that was conducted in uh, ace uh, classroom session sir so uh, during that time also i was using this gate calculator only uh, for my advice is to better get adapted by 6 to 4 months by using gate calculator only yes. because then we will be uh, fast during the exam right one more thing what about is the pqs of the gate exam yes, how many times you have solved them sir i solved pqs two times sir two times Or two times and i uh, if i have any doubts i i used to go to the sir and ask doubts right because you secured a fourth rank i think you might have prepared the entire syllabus of the civil engineering right okay suppose there is some student uh, because of lack of time the student wants to prepare selectively some number of subjects right so from your experience what do you advise that student what subjects that he has to follow uh, if we go through he is booklet itself we will have the marks wise the subject uh, weightage analysis, weightage analysis. Mm-hmm. so with that i will say uh, anyway if uh, anyone is preparing aptitude is must so aptitude we have to secure uh, 15 and uh, we have maths uh, 13 marks so mm-hmm. maths 
and aptitude uh, generally these these questions will come quite uh, normally yes. because everyone can attempt and score marks in this mm. apart from this i will advise geotechnical and uh, transportation uh, environmental engineering, environmental engineering. Right. Mm. these subjects uh, we can yes. fetch around 50 yes marks see for the students who want to make some selective study so as a shudath said of course you can also know if you see the previous years question paper subgate examination that aptitude part and maths also right yes, sir. aptitude mathematics and other technical subjects like uh, geotechnical engineering environmental engineering transportation so these subjects if you prepare right you you are going to get the what you call reasonable rank but like a show that if you want to stand in the top 100 top 10 gate rank you have to study the entire syllabus of gate obviously yes. is it not okay fine uh, mr shiv what was your uh, specific strategy uh, before one week or two weeks before the actual gate examination? Mm, sir, before, I mean, if we come before one week, sir, uh, I never went to any new, new thing. So, whatever I have, I, I am thinking only I should be strong in these things, which I know, means which I have written in my short notes, which my uh, teachers have said in the class notes. I was revising that thoroughly because uh, I shouldn't lose marks in the exam uh, even though that was written in my notes. So that was my strategy, sir. So right. I didn't go into anything new, any, I didn't approach anything new thing. Mm. And uh, through my revision and uh, through the class notes itself, uh, that has happened, sir. Okay. So without going to new areas, whatever you have studied earlier, yeah, that, that you made uh, what you call good consolidation. Yes, sir. That is yeah. within the first Without, one okay. week. Right. One week. Right. That's fine. So on the day of actual gate examination, in the examination hall, in the three hours of time, yes. did you follow any specific strategy? You know, many students say that uh, they solved the two mass questions first, then they went to the one mark questions. Then they took so and so that specifically, like the different students have different strategies there. Uh, so, what was your strategy in the examination? Uh, my strategy was uh, simple, sir. First, complete all easy questions first, and even easy questions and quick questions. I mean, so I categorically divided questions such as easy, easy but uh, uh, lengthy. Difficult but uh, small, difficult but lengthy, means these four categories. So, I solved easy and uh, easy but lengthy first, sir. Then I have gone to difficult and difficult plus lengthy. So, with this strategy I followed, I got ample time to cover all the questions and try it. So, so for your fourth rank, how many marks you got, uh, Mr. Shivadat? 80.78, sir. 80.78 marks you got. So, almost around 20 marks you lost in the examination. Yes, uh, do you remember the areas where you could not score marks in the examination? Uh, I think, sir, I lost marks in uh, MSQs. Uh, few means uh, you have to know all the options in MSQs. Yeah. So, uh, generally, if one question is there with four options, we will have 25% probability. But here, uh, the probability will be against the student who is attempting. So, that's what other students are also telling us. Uh, uh, they felt some sort of difficulty in scoring marks in the MSQs, right? Anyway, if you have proper study, yes. I think uh, one can overcome. But anyway, it is relative. The difficulty is there equally for all the students, right? Okay. Uh, the time was sufficient for you in the examination to solve yes. all these questions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Very good, uh, Mr. Shivdath. From your successful journey in the gate examination, right? Uh, what suggestions, what tips that you want to share with your other aspirants who are preparing for the gate examination, especially the juniors, etc. Uh, Whatever I, you followed in your uh, preparation, in your strategy, some points you can share so it will be useful for the other students. Uh, my strategy was uh, not very big, sir. I started very simple. I, but the day I started coaching, from that day itself, I, I had a disciplined uh, way of uh, attending classes, I wake up early, I have to sleep at uh, this particular time, <laughs> removed through some social media apps and all. Yes. Uh, because that was a distraction. Uh, and uh, complete, I mean, if a subject is been completed in any coaching institute, in our institute, we have to complete that uh, subject parallelly 
when we go to our room also so that is one thing that i have followed sir means strictly we have to complete those pyqs those classroom questions mm. and revise so the number of revisions uh, refine as a or refine our concepts yes okay fine sure that and uh, one more last point uh, uh you were a classroom coach student of as academy you said you followed the classroom coaching and the short notes what you prepared and the test series and the pyqs and apart from that did you refer to any standard test books in your preparation ah uh, standard was test book first of first of all uh, sir i don't think uh, we have time to refer those notes uh, while yes. it is going that's the first point and uh, second very rare occasion i have uh, uh, gone through one subject sir environment mm. i have gone through two three questions i mean i got doubt i got stuck up uh, so that time i have gone through sir apart from that i don't think i have studied any standard test yes there is no need and first of all you don't yes, find sir. time also is it that's the, that's the point sir okay good uh mr show that so through this we uh, uh, what you call interview we have shared uh, very useful points that you have followed i think uh, the students who watch this video in future i think uh, they may take some useful points from this discussion in their uh, get preparation right uh, very good shodat thank you for joining and sharing your uh, points and you please convey our wishes to your uh, proud parents also thank and other friends right yes. who are very supportive in this journey yes. and uh, we feel very proud of you mr shodat thank and you and i take the opportunity to congratulate you once again thank you sir and wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors right god bless you shodat god bless you thank you sir